ads here from Herman's RV Holidays. And just recently, myself and Zoe went off in Herman to the motorhome and caravan show at the NEC in the UK. We're not thinking about buying, and we're not thinking about replacing Herman. The kind of thing that we look out for are motorhomes with a rear lounge. Herman doesn't have one, we don't have any children, so a rear lounge to sit and relax would be ideal for us. During the video, you may see clips like this where I'm you see me talking, but of course it's not lip sync at all. That's because I had audio problems and I'm having to redo the commentary. In this video, we're going to be looking at Haima and Ariba. So this is the Haima 678, and we're going to have a pop in and have a look. So. Not bad in the front here, looks a bit cramped if you ask me. We have a small kitchen, although it does have a hob and an oven. And a double bed at the back. Kitchen area, we've well, blocked that off for some reason. A kitchen, that's a, not a kitchen, that's a shower. Separate shower, the door closing door there, and a sheep. We have a little cubby hole. So, um, to be quite honest, it's a bit cramped for £88,000. This is the Heimer Duo Mobile 634 at £130,700. The Duo Mobile range is designed for travelling couples and as you can see it has a lovely spacious leather lounge at the back which is perfect for us I think. I had a bit of an um, issue about that huge uh, amount of space at the back there. It kind of, I felt like I was a bit far away from the uh, window. Um, and I, I was hoping that it would be cl closer so I can peer out and uh, get a better view of whatever is outside. But uh, you can see from the top, around the top, there is quite a lot of spacious uh, cupboards. Uh, and in the corners there's plenty of room for the odd bottle of wine or three. There you can see, this is the only clip that I really do have of the uh, the kitchen. It's, um, it's quite spacious, it's quite cool looking I suppose. It's a three a uh, gas hob and a small sink. Looking around, before we go out the door you can see the oven and fridge and the freezer. This lady was actually telling me that it is a terrible place to put a oven. The oven is right at the top as you can see as I open it here. The, the door is quite tight and as you can see, look, I'm six foot and that is quite high for me if it was like burning something, you know, hot, something hot coming out of that oven. You don't want to I wouldn't want to pull anything out of there, and um, and that lady was, uh, you know, quite concerned about it, rightly so, I think. Looking towards the front, you really can't uh, see the driving area, but uh, you can see that the shower area is quite large, uh, and I don't actually go into the bathroom, which is just that door there, so we don't see that. But going outside, we can see that the garage area is quite large. Now I always have a problem with these, these motorhomes are quite large you can see the go, how far that goes down but I think it'd be quite easy to go and lose something down there don't you think? There's no compartments that you can like, there's no drawers or trays or anything other than those things on the left there uh, but, so it'd be easy access for some small things but I think you could probably lose something down down the back of those but yeah it's quite a spacious rear and there's three doors for that for the back of that garage now moving to the front, I noticed that the blind there is, goes right across the screen. I've never noticed that before on a motorhome. There we are. You can almost live in the front here with the blinds and all the lighting and whatever. Yeah. Leather seats. Oh, look, cup holders. You don't normally get those. Lots of cup holders. Lots of cup holders. And this thing. What's this? It feels like a bit of a waste of space. Is no, it? What's it? What's it? When the bed comes down. Oh, right, okay. There's cupboards underneath. There's cupboards under there, is there? Great. One of the cupboards comes out to stairs, like that. 
Oh, it's the stay. Oh, stairs and storage. Well, that's that's get, that's clever. So to get onto the bed and yeah. storage. I remember that because I was looking in all of them. And there's a little secret cubby hole. <laughs> that actually went down into locker down yeah, outside, yeah, didn't yeah. it? Oh, look at that one. That's where Granny goes, or the dog. <laughs> this is the Duramobile 534 at £99,680. This is the smaller one in the Duramobile range. Again, it's very popular. In fact, it looks yeah. very similar to the one we've just stepped out of. Yes. So oh, there's you, the bed down. What do you get for the extra 30000 next door? Oh. So obviously that's the driving area under there. Turn around. Maybe it's got posher cabinets. It's bigger, it's longer, this the other one. Oh, okay. Here I noticed that the fridge freezer doesn't have the oven stacked on top of it, so I wonder where that is. The the lounge area looks very similar, if not exactly the same, other than the fact it's half leather. And just like the other one, where I have my hand there is a cupboard, little little cubby hole underneath there. That is not very deep. It's only a, a couple of inches deep, probably enough to put some books and magazines. So there's the kitchen. It contains a three hob oven and uh, the, that's a very small sink. This is the major difference between the 634 and the 534. The 534 losing out on a lot of space there. As you can see, if I stand up in the lounge area, I actually hit my head on the ceiling and especially that roof light there. That is because there is a step up into the lounge area. Looking outside into the garage area, obviously smaller because the motorhome is actually smaller, but less chance I feel that you're going to lose anything. There's only two door, one major big door and a smaller door the other side. This is the Ariba Triton 430 special 60 edition the 60 referring to the 60th anniversary of Ariba costing 24,985 pounds so this is obviously not a motorhome it's a caravan but Zoe ended up going in here she thought it was cute so we ended up going in here and you can see that there's lots of storage space above and near the roof um, and that dining area is you know it's quite adequate for two people the toilet is in there and uh, is a gap that you can look into. The roof is elevated, give me plenty of room to walk around in. If you're taller than me, probably not. That is a toilet and shower in there, a wet room, and another little living area, or sitting area rather, right at the front there. Turning back around, Zoe opens the bathroom door and I pull the camera back so you can see the full length of the caravan. The kitchen area is quite small. Um, space is a premium of course, uh, so every inch is used. There's even an electric socket at the top there. Um, just having a close look at the storage area. The bed is actually a pull out from the, or you make it up from the, uh, the sofa. A three ring gas hob and a fridge freezer there. So that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful. Did you go to the show? Did you see these motorhomes? What did you think of what I thought of these motorhomes? Let us know in the comments section below. We now have an online store where you can buy t-shirts, stickers, mugs, all that kind of thing. T-shirts come in different sizes, different colors for male and female and children. And all the designs on everything is actually designed by myself and so head over there and see what you think of my designs thanks for watching our video give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more video updates or maybe even watch one of our previous videos bye bye now